Hi everybody, good morning. We're doing an unboxing of from Shine from the Inside Oracle Cards by Brittany Carmichael. I'll get this plastic off and you can see these beautiful little holographic stars and moons and diamonds and dots and this little pink sheen of foil on the shine. This, all these holographic spots are all over the box. So beautiful. So let's get this off. There's no magic pill for self-love. Discover the magic within. Break free of fear that holds you back from shining your light. Absolutely. Have to love yourselves. Then other people can love you. You can love other people. And you're free. Create fun and a playful approach to making friends with your inner mean girl so you can confidently reclaim your power with this 44 self-love oracle guide oracle and guidebook feeling stuck or needing motivational kick in the butt these will help you believe in yourself overcome overwhelming negative thoughts and encourage you to manifest your wild crazy dreams this tool for self-discovery embodies empowerment equality courage freedom sisterhood and the space to be your authentic self unapologetically unapologetically let these card intuitively guide you back home to your soul's sacred center to remember just how badass you truly are because you're meant to shine. You are exactly where you're meant to be. I just, I think this is going to be an awesome deck. Oh, you are meant to shine inside the lid. You see those uh, holographic spots? Aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. So here's the book. Here's the deck. Oh, look at this uh, inside. Oh, no, that's another card. Come here. Still beautiful with all the stars and the moon, crescent moon. Let's take a look. Very nice uh, guidebook. Getting started, creating a, your sacred space, clearing the juju, setting your intentions, storing the cards. The basics, how to shuffle, intuitively selecting, consulting your guidebook. Journal it out. Simple spreads, one card daily... Draw a three card spread, self care spread, self love spread. And then it's each card. Then our next, your next steps, my dream for you. Join the Shine Tribe of Sisterhood. Start your self love journal in the Shine School about the artist, the author, and resources. Very beautiful. It's a dedication. This oracle is dedicated to the women in my life who have passed away from existence and to whom whose souls crack open because of this deck. I'll let you read the rest. I think this is going to be a wonderful deck. The one thing about self-love is not it's not something that happens without you doing something. You have to work at it a little bit every day. And that's what this deck is all about. Helping you do that. Align your actions with intentions. Allow unlimited abundance. Ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. That's nice. Awaken to your authentic self and be true to you. Be bold. Be, don't be afraid to stand out. I love this. You like something? Go for it. 
Who cares what anybody else thinks? It's you got to do what makes you feel good. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. Awesome. Breathe in the bliss. Exhale bullshit. Absolutely. Bring it, breathe in the white light. Exhale all the yucky stuff that you feel. Let it go. Create yourself. You deserve it. Yay. Change one th thing today. Start small. Absolutely. Never start with a big giant leap. It will kill you or make you feel intimidated. Commit to self-care rituals. Yes. They make you feel good. The act of love doing this is the act of making love to yourself. You are telling yourself, I am worthy. You're getting closer to yourself. So do these things. Paint your nails. Put conditioner in your hair and sit there. Create your own happiness. Isn't that beautiful? I love all the stars all over. Ah, this is the cover of the box. Embrace your divine goodness. Oh, look at the white hint. Uh, Hindi ink. Forgive someone. Or Bindi, Bindi. Get back to nature and reconnect to your hippie roots. Oh, I like that. Get creative and excite your imagination with wonder. Create something today. And the rest is squiggles. I like that. Thankful for. Make a th gratitude list. Or gratitude journal, gratitude rampage, list 10 things and you're thankful for. Journal it out, write how you feel. Lots of people find a lot of healing in journaling. Keep your thoughts positive. Let go of control and relax into the flow. Yes. Having to be in control of everything will drive you crazy. Go look for the signs and synchronicities. 11-11. Oh, this looks like the author. Brittany Carmichael. Nourish your body with high vibe energy. Very cool. Perform random acts of kindness. Yeah, doing kind things for other people will make you feel good. It takes you out of you. Practice feng shui. Create a sacred space. Yes. Oh, I love her hair. I love the way her hair looks in the stars. Relieve self-doubt. Let go of fear. Revo remove the limiting labels you're wearing. Very cool. Oh, and there's all these labels on her uh, tiara or mask. Unintelligent, weak, shy, not enough. Yes, let go of all that bullshit. Because God did not make any junk here. Set your intentions with heart and soul. Yes. Another card looks like Brittany Carmichael. Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. Very cool. Slow down and rest. You need it. Yes. Stay away from drama today. That's a good advice. Yes. Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. You'll find something that you're excellent at one of these times. And you'll be so help happy you did that. Stop judging and start loving. Awesome. This looks like the Three of Cups to me. Surround yourself with the Soul Tribe. Socializing. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. Very beautiful. Oh, look at that bouquet. Treat yourself to something beautiful today. Trust your intuition. She's always right. Tune into your inner peace. Turn criticism into kindness. Turn lemons into lessons. 
Unleash your wild child and get up and dance. Awesome. Write down your goals and dream big. Perfectly beautiful. Awesome. Whatever size, whatever you look like, you're beautiful. You got to learn to love yourself at the moment, always. You are pure magic. Absolutely. Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Your soul whispers love with your ego shouts with fear. Oh, I love this deck. Let's uh, cut it up a little bit. And we'll give it a little shuffle. And we'll pick a card to see what the card wants to say today. get to see how the work the book talks about it journal it out and write how you feel Okay, here's our card in the page. Get out of your head and into your heart so you can journal it out. Oftentimes we have a bazillion thoughts running through our minds, racing a million miles an hour, and it can be a little overwhelming. The best way to sort through your thoughts is to get them out of your head and onto paper. Writing down how we feel allows us to take deeper look into our life from higher perspective. When we take the time to get intimate with our inner world, we get create space to clear out our thoughts, focus on the goals, and cultivate clarity about our thoughts and feelings represent. If you pull this card, it's time to clear out the clutter of your mind and ease your emotions by acknowledging them on paper. Remember, emotions are energy in motion. Our feelings are the first indicator of what's going on in our inner world. Journaling has loads of evidence that show this, its effectiveness on reducing stress, boosting overall mood, enhancing your sense of well-being, and has a show shown to reduce depression and mental health issues. I, I commit to clear out some space, tune into my soul, and journal it out. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I hope you're all doing well and finding things that are making you feel great about life and making this pandemic time a lot easier. And making the world wonderful for you. Subscribe to my channel if you like this and give me a thumbs up. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.